everybody, Scout Crafty here. It's snowing outside, it's cold, wet, damp. What a better time to be in the shop. It's hammer time. Okay, so the other day I'm in the store and I tell you what store later and I said, hey, look at this, a hammer. I can use a hammer, can always use a hammer. <laughs> it's a Stanley. And the uh, model number here is the STHT51340. Um, it's obviously this hammer, is no doubt, but it is uh, made in China. It um, has a hardwood handle, but what I was intrigued with is uh, the hammer itself has a really nice feel to it, nice balance. I like the design. It's that California framing design. Um, I look at the fit and finish of the hammer and tell me, you know, in the back of your mind, I want you to think what you would pay for this hammer, you know, what this hammer should go for. Um, I'm going to put it through some tests, see how it holds up before we make our final decision, but uh, let's get to it. that didn't take long after about uh, this isn't even a 10d which is a standard now this is a 60 okay after hammering 30 of these into a 2x4 not even a, a piece of hardwood just a 2x4 this hammer are you ready the handle is loosened up now you can't even see what kind of uh, they got that epoxy coating in the top so you can't even tell what kind of wedge they put in there but just goes to show you three things we learned from this. Number one, Stanley would be turning over in his grave right now if he saw the crap that they're letting his name be put on. This guy built up a business, the Stanley Rule Company, back in like uh, 19 or 1920 or something. And his cousin Frederick started Stanley Works, uh, and that was, uh, that was other hand tools, but... Those guys built a reputation on tools and, and and these, you know, their family sells out the name. Now it's Stanley Black and Decker, I think, going Stanley. You know, they buy a name. People go into a store and they say, okay, Stanley, you know. Okay, well, here's the deal. This hammer came from Walmart and the price was $4.94 or for my British friends, that would be $3.62 pounds, I think. But... It was less than five dollars okay so look i'm all for getting what you pay for but that's the whole point of this video you buy this hammer you figure you know it's a five dollar hammer whether it's stanley good name but the hammer's junk it's useless now this hammer after 30 nails not even heavy duty nails of hammering in and pulling out the handle's loose no way to wedge it in now you got it there's two things you could do you could cut this handle out you know, how do you get this epoxy filling out to put even another wedge in there? Soak in this. This is a hardwood. That's why uh, That's why you use hickory. Because American hickory has a uh, characteristics that allow it to uh, to t go with the weather and, and hold up tight. Same with this thing. Here's another Stanley piece of crap. You know, and I told you that we did a video on this one here. The handle loosened up brand new. These things are junk, you know, no matter what you pay for them. They could give these away. What good is it? If you're on a job site, that is why so many people went to uh, composite or steel-handled hammers to get away from that. And uh, the shame of it is that when you go to the store, you look at this hammer. That's what the Chinese are so good at. They can make a product that looks identical. You say, wow, why would I spend $35 on a Vaughn hammer? An American-made Vaughn hammer, beautiful hammer. Why would I spend $30 when I can have this hammer for five? Well, that's why, because this hammer is useless after one use, and the $30 Vaughn hammer will last your lifetime. Okay, so there's my rant. Stay away from Stanley. Anything with a wood handle on Stanley, you know, wood. I like how they, you know, they don't even take that wood handle hammer. This handle is hammer's junk. Okay, it might look good. The casting might even be good, but the hammer itself, junk. Unless you're going to rehandle it with a hickory, good old American hickory handle. 
Just goes to show you. What a shame, huh? Good old Stanley. Uh, I feel bad for that guy, but you know something? They took his name, and they're running it through the dirt. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.